Okay, so in preparation for Hoots and uh, to make up for not being able to post the last Minota uh, VOD to YouTube for silly reasons, uh, we're running it back. Well, we're running it back. There are a few changes I made to the sideboard. I'm going to try out a few things. Main thing is I wanted uh, another Lava Coil, and I also added Baffling End. Um, Lava Coil is just really good against aggro decks, and only having two felt very wrong to me. Hey, look at that. We got a riddle emote. And then Baffling End uh, is good for the mirror. But they missed you. They missed you, and they're happy you have an emote. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was thinking about like how do we deal with opposing Adanto Vanguards? It's baffling end. So that's why that's there. Oh god, this camera's all weird, bud. Nope, wrong way. So let's uh, get into a league and, and see what we can do. Event, whatever, whatever these stupid things are called. Quietly uh, fortitude an event off stream last night. I don't even remember what the first deck was that I lost to. <clears throat> wow, my throat. Uh, if this finds a land, his hand's actually, like, an untapped land, his hand's actually pretty good. I'm gonna keep this. Well, which is of an endotherius. That's got to die. I'm just here for a pet the cat. And you can even put the emote in now. Can't let that live. Sure, we lose our bone crusher, but they don't have their stupid thing. Hey, look, it worked out. We found Sacred Foundry. Fair. Untap Green Source? Untap Green Source? Hey. Actually, just gonna do this. Hey, God. This is, uh. Yeah. <laughs> These turns have been, uh, kind of exactly what I need. Don't sweep me. Okay. I can, can't cast either of those. Sure, sure. Sure. GG. Eh, it's three triggers. Who knows? Yo. <laughs> So, uh, if that's the case, I uh, I added a couple baffling ends to take care of Vanguard because we don't actually have a way to deal with Vanguard other than that. So, all right, uh, Lava Coil seems good against the deck that wants to recur stuff. Knight of Ooh, these are all the cards I like in this matchup. What don't I like? Uh, we can cut Incubation pretty easily. Yeah, Clothis seems amazing here. I like this because they play Oven, but maybe we don't need all three. Maybe we could even just do one. Uh, I think... <sighs> Gruel is close, honestly. We'll cut a couple of Vanguards on the uh, draw. 
there's cat hair everywhere, so, you know, perfect riddle stream. Uh, this just needs a red source and it's pure gas, so, you know, gambling in a Winota deck seems appropriate. Gambling in a Winota deck is appropriate, he says, before he misses the, the card he needs for this hand to be functional. No, not my elf. Ah, that's fine. I can play another one. Red source? Red source. Oh, that's like a red source, except a lot worse. Red source. Red source. Red source. I will I will block. I will block. Red source. Untap red source. Untap red source. Uh, we flew too close to the sun. <laughs> Uncastable hand. All right. Um, on the play, I think what I'm going to do is this. Just get a little bit more aggressive. Myers Grasp. Pretty uh, pretty strong card right now, especially against us. This is not a turn one monkey, huh? Uh, I'm going to mulligan this. We haven't mulliganed this set. Oh, yeah. Oh, you love to see it. We get to bottom this Hactos, keep this, uh, play this tapped. Then we get this on two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, three, four. Don't Myers grasp me for once in your life. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we can play this next turn. Uh, kill this. On sight. On sight. Look, they're going to block, and I'm going to take four, but, like, I'm clearing the way here. I don't care. Don't Myers grasp me. Don't you do it. Okay. Well, there's still a chance they can Myers grasp me. Don't do it. Ah, I didn't say please. I didn't say please with my issue, so I think I'm going to play this, play a tap land, and say go. This is this is how you beat Winota, is you just like one for one all the early creatures. That was uh huh. That's huh. Maybe I was supposed to bring in the the lantern instead of Clothis. Alright. Alright, let's high roll. Yo! They uh, took it down to five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and this needs seven? Right? Seven. Are they about to uh, claim their priest and then uh, just concede? Okay. Sure, 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 sure. I'm not sure we were winning there. Maybe I'm wrong. You take it. You know, you take those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Okay. Look, I bragged about a 4-2, but let's be honest. Someone conceded to me after both of us played one land, so... I... Oh, they're playing Obosh. Okay. 
Uh, we got Stomp, we got War Boss, we got Winota. It's what you call a keep. So Obosh might be um, Yarok Field, or it could just be some sort of weird damaged base burny thing. It's kind of a wide margin, honestly. I'm not allowed to, uh, chat. I'm not allowed to say you love to see a chat. Okay, so so don't let me say that. Okay, don't let me say that. Just switch me out. Uh. Ah, so this is definitely Yarok field. Got it. I love, I love this format that I can tell based off of this, this, and this. I mean, this, this is also kind of a hint, but. So that means this Bone Crusher, not really crushing a whole lot of bones. I guess they could play Risen Reef. They get one trigger. We kill it. Untap War Boss. Pretty, I'm pretty good at this game sometimes. I'm like, I'm like, eh, at this game, right? Everyone gets lucky sometimes. Please don't kill my war boss. I said please. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I, I guess we get one trigger. Please don't kill my goblin. Oh, okay. Sure. What do we get? We get a Winota. We gave Winota haste. Sure. Ugh. We have some amount of looks at a war boss here. We'll take Vanguard. Mm. Uh, no real reason this might, I guess, I guess we get a creature off the deck and we're guaranteed to have a thing. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Give me something juicy. Yeah. All right. There's something you can't block. I mean, you can block it, but not not very well. Haste and indestructible should be noted. Woof. I would have liked to have either of these, huh? That would have been nice. Okay, we get Yarok off the field. Which is great. I'll, I'll take not having Yarok on the field. You're just going to disfigure my vanguard? Yeah. That's fine. We have 16 power in play. Although they played this and it's their copy of this. Oh, they had a second Yarok. Okay. Okay. They haven't hit field yet. So we have that going for us. All right, Hactos. Show me what you've got. Three. So Risen Reef can block it. <laughs> uh... 
They could also just murderous rider it. That was the only bad roll. You're right. Okay. That is our last forest. I wonder if they thought we had two forests, because that's actually a reasonable assumption. They're one of Nexus of Fate, sure. I have no way to kill Risen Reef in main, right? Oh, I have Stomp. Right, 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 right. So if we draw a Stomp, we're pretty happy. Sure. I don't think we're winning, so we're going to have fun instead. It's it's a one-of roll, but by golly, it's my one-of roll. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Cute. Yep. I mean, getting to keep Win Winota is pretty sweet. Oh, they just get Uro here. All right, so if we draw a Legion War Boss and we swing with three creatures, we can hit an unblockable Hactus. Oh, they're about to gain a bunch of life, huh? Yep, never mind. I know only one life. <laughs> this isn't about you, opponent. Oh, no. Well, unblockable Hactos got there, but we're dead on the crackback, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Take 12, I lose. <laughs> it's fine. Opponents, like, lining up blocks, and it's like, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. All right. Um, huh. Against this opponent... So did we really lose, right? Hmm. I kind of like these four cards. Uh, and then we'll just cut incubation. Sure, good enough. Like we don't we don't really have a lot for for this matchup. Uh. I like these four cards, but these four cards leave a little bit to be desired. I like these six cards. <laughs> All right, sure. Return two cards. Um... Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Stupid thing that doesn't die to stomp, but ramps you anyway. All right, let's draw an untapped land. Un untapped land. Untapped land. Gosh, just take six? Okay. Let's draw an untapped land. Uh, I said untapped like a million times, deck. It's going swell. 
we're we're attempting to do the thing. It's weird because like we've only really done the thing once and we we've won the match but like we didn't do the thing the second time they just sort of conceded and then Oh uh, no, they're going to name one Winota. What am I going to do? My deck has never won without a Winota in play. I don't think you poured that in here. For the record. Don't think that's a card you poured in. They have another murder Rider? No. Okay. All right. We just have to fade one more turn. Just have to fade one more turn. Uh, do I just... Oh, I have five mana. All right. This makes Stomp lethal. Is that lethal? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's lethal. Come on. While we wait, if you've uh, only just joined and you haven't been following my uh, my Twitter at all, we, we have a new emote. It's, it's for Riddle. I have the benefit of knowing what's about to happen and not having a delay. <laughs> Pet the cat. You do. So does Riddle. Riddle has that, that, that bit of it too. I guess the Comcast happened or something. Huh. I kind of don't want this on the play, or on the draw, rather. But I don't really know what I'm... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep it. I mean, they won game one. It was technically, like, a pretty sick top deck, but, you know, the game wasn't... The game wasn't over if I... I mean, the game wasn't really going on if I, I had, like, not drawn that, right? They basically lose their board and go to one.
Wow. Yeah, it, it looks like they've disconnected. This is, well, this is taking a while. I'm just looking at Twitter. <laughs> oh, I pet the cat. It is his stream after all. Victory. So, yeah, whatever, I won. Um, that's now two wins where, like, we didn't really play game three. <laughs> These wins feel hollow. to win, but I want it to mean something. Sure. Sure. <laughs> right? That's clearly the problem. All right, so turn three, Winota with two triggers. Sure, you gain three life. Let's get two good triggers, shall we? I said good triggers. thing sure sure turn two clothes turn three winota and eh, never mind this is tapped it's fine it's fine everything is fine okay Pay no attention to the idiot in front of your in, in front of your face. Uh, untap red source. Oh. Risen reef. That's what that sounds like, right? Mm hmm. Clothis. Four, five, six, seven. I think I actually lead on this. No, what? Oh, white. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh. 
I'm an idiot. Everyone bringing this card in against me. I don't understand. So, uh, they have uh, a lot of power in play, hey? Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm always one short. I really goofed up because if I hadn't played this, we might be fine here. But I am an idiot. And I was just counting all the pips instead of just the red and green ones. Uh, let's see. If I stomp their face, they're at 14, but then I can't cast one Noda. If we'd drawn an untapped land here, we could have had a shot at winning. We're dead on the crack back though, right? 10, 15, 16, 17. We're one short of dead. We're one short of dead. Chat, we're one short of dead. And we have a blocker. I need a blocker. Why are they double blocking? I'm confused. I'm confused. All right, so our play to win line here is we draw Legion War Boss because they go to eight. We draw Legion War Boss and then the goblin that it makes uh, finds an Angrass Marauder and we win the game off of Hectos. Oh, wait, hold. Oh, they're at 11 now. Never mind. They're at 14 now. Never mind. Yeah, Clothis puts them to 12. Stomp puts them to 10. Um, we didn't get there. It doesn't matter. All this math and it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we need we needed a haste threat, and then we we had a chance of doubling this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, but as is, we're dead. So shrugs, struggles before the struggles, my friends. Hmm. <laughs> right? Uh... I don't think so. I think they are an Oboshless list. So they're playing some sort of two or four mana spell. Yeah, you basically always keep turn two war boss. And this will be no exception. Now we just need Winota. Clothis will do, though. Actually. Actually. Now we want to draw Winota. All right. Let's draw Winota. Please? Oh. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, this deck is not right. I've only been live for 40 minutes, and I already have three wins.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> the mirror, so I, I, the mirror would be interesting, I think. Uh, this hand's pretty bad. Uh, this hand... I think we keep this, just bottom of questing beast. We go scry land on one, chalk this in to, to kill a thing if we want. I have, so, kind of? I, I have um, Baffling End in the sideboard. So I have two Baffling End, three Lava Coil, and I think that's sort of like the plan is just kill all the early threats and hope Winota doesn't do anything. Good. I have a feeling they're going to kill this war boss because they're just sitting on three open mana here. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to think of, like, how to beat Vanguard, and the only thing I could come up with was to play Baffling End. So that's where I am. Just straight up naked Othakaya. Okay. Do I Hactos? I have so many options here. I think these are my options, right? Hactos or QB. They're like a removal heavy deck. I think I'm just going to QB. So that I can guaranteed get my four in. And now I'll, I'll Hactos. We hit four, which is nice, but it looks like they might have something for it. Four red cap melee. Yeah. Red cap melee. Huh. That's a thought. Uh, normally, I would agree that four is the best number, but against this sort of deck, I have a feeling they have, like, Vraska's Contempt or something. All right, well, we know where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, oh, yeah, that was lethal, hey? All right. Uh, Clothis seems good against controlling decks. Yeah, I cut lead the Stampede to make room for these cards because I, I hadn't been seeing a whole lot of, um, of control matchups. So I was like, eh, let's sort of lay off of that. So I think Clothis is fine. Maybe, maybe I actually do this instead. Like, we're not stomping a whole lot, apparently. So this helps us dig to a creature we want. And then Clothis just, like, sits there and, and does value things. Clothis seems really good against black-white. Unless it becomes a creature and they exile it. So I'm pretty happy with that. This deck doesn't really animate it all that much. Nope, I hit the mic. I'm sorry. Cage? I don't play Cage. C cage ruins the deck. <laughs> I 
No, we have Soul Guide Lantern for Luris. Soul Guide Lantern and Clothes for Luris decks. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Like, it has three uncastable cards in it, but, like, these two cards are so good. Oh, they're Esper. That's cute. <laughs> First game, we only saw black and white lands. This game, we've only seen white and blue lands. <laughs> Oh, opponent. Sure. This can't find you a black source, though. Sure. Do I get Clothis down, or do I get Warboss down? Knowing this is here, I'm actually going to put Clothis down. Because, like, I have threats. Threats aren't an issue. And I'm going to kill this. This guarantees Clothis gets a trigger. But, like, I think, I think getting this down is better than getting this down. Because... Alright, it doesn't matter. Everything I was saying doesn't matter. Bottom. Yeah, you love to see it. Nope. I wasn't supposed to say that. Uh, I'm bad at this. Alright, so they bounce at Danto. We eat this. Nug them for two. Gain two. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. Um We shock this in. Play a Danto. Stomp to fairy. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen. All right, all right. It's all, it's all coming together. Elspeth conquers my Clothis. Yeah, that is accurate. Pretty, pretty happy this got Clothis instead of Questing Beast at this point. My thoughts! You just take War Boss. It's the castable card. <laughs> I can cast this card. You should take it. I guess... All right, so let's draw a red or a white source, untap red or white source next turn so we can cast Hactos and make them cry. This doesn't work against me. I'm not searching my library. Let's just draw a note and win the game. Never lucky. Oh, they get to return it. Sure. Whatever. They return to fairy. Stand by and watch. Teferi, you haven't stood by and watched since, I don't know, a really early time period in the magic universe. Okay. And? And? And you're dead. Yes, and Grath's Marauders. 
because when Nota is funny, didn't even know that was a card. It, oh, it's fantastic. All right, we got the 4-0 going. Got the easy 4-0. Yeah, when you don't have to cast it, it's a pretty good card. Don't open the fridge. I'm afraid now. Our, our opponent's telling us to not open the fridge. And I'm concerned about what they have in it. Um, not really. It's kind of a medium deck, honestly. It's, like, playable for sure. Spider-Man meme. No blocks. Ooh, that's not a land I want to play. Uh, <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. The secret is we currently look like Gruel, but we're not. I uh, know my elf. You killed the wrong thing. You ruined the secret. Well, I mean. Oh no. Okay, Winota. Save me from this nightmare, Winota. Uh oh. Alright, well, we have a block at least. Go to your death, 1-1. One, one. Winota. Winota. I think Rule Aggro is still really good, by the way. Uh, it has a bunch of Doom Blades that are good against Winota. Take that trade every day of the week. Sure. Winota? Uh, you're like Winota, but completely different. Red, red, white. Wait. Oh, you. Uh, if we'd hit three, we could block and be fine. But we hit four. They can block. It just would have lived, and we would have been so much happier. No! It's it's it has to do with power, not toughness. <sighs> My hopes and dreams. Yeah, so what I was saying before is they've drawn three Questing Beasts. Drawn three Questing Beasts. We we've drawn a million land, they've drawn three Questing Beasts. <laughs> uh, Gruul is pretty good against Minota because they get... To... What just happened? Where? Oh, I see. I see what happened. That was so weird. They get to play a bunch of um, spells that have different CMCs, and uh, yeah, it sucks for us. All right, we don't want Adanto Vanguard in this matchup, like at all. <laughs> we, we don't want to accidentally activate this card, basically. So I think this is the route we take. We bring in a ton of removal, some life gain, uh, and then yeah, this is our plan. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Saucer. That, yes, that is accurate. You're right. 
Te text is a thing on a card. Uh, lava coil into autumn into Winota sounds fantastic. Please play a turn one spell so that my cur- Oh. <laughs> my curve, it's less perfect. BTE, BTE. Oh, okay, it's just two things. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. Oh. I'm trying to get worth out of this. All right, well, we're just gonna make this a 4-3 then. Please don't Domri's ambush us. Please don't uh, Domri's ambush us. Please don't Domri's ambush us. Please? Oh, I said please like a million times. So QB didn't even matter. Oh yeah, that's, that's ultimately true, isn't it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, they're more likely to have Domri's ambush, I think. I'm literally punished every time I lava coil something, I swear. I've never cast lava coil and said, all right, we did it. <laughs> I like how it just keeps rolling four. Like it doesn't matter, but they just keep doing that. What deals the damage? The creature deals the damage. Notably, Domri's ambush doesn't deal it. Oh, it does. It targets, though, so it's fine. It does target, so it's fine. We're at five. They have five power in play. Uh... Oh. I knew I put this card in here for a reason. <laughs> They're just going to swing out and number cleave me. There's this long pause, which means they drew it, and they're, like, doing math, like, is this lethal? <laughs> I used to be a guru player. I can make these jokes. Uh, if I block here, I take six down to three, which is scary, but they don't usually play lightning strike in these decks. <sighs> six, seven, eight. I could go to one, but then i die to stomp. And I don't kill them on the crackback either. If I block here, I take five down to four. I play this. And I don't have any good blocks. I block here. I take six down to three. Don't have any good blocks. I guess I'm hoping to draw another Knight of Autumn. Yeah, okay. I. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, we have a pack. Let's open this War of the Spark pack. You said Temple of Triumph? <laughs> right? This is, this is the card you asked for? Oh, I see that you're losing miserably to Gruul. Ooh. Orbs. What? Oh, the next one is Orbs. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, we kept them in. I, I think Gruul is, like, honestly the, the like, best Kryptonite to Winota right now because it gets to play all the removal. It has a ton of pressure. All of its threats vary between 1 and 4, like mana cost, which means eventually you're going to block Hactos. Uh, and it's just a good deck in general. So, like, if you're afraid of Winota, like, if you don't want to play Winota, Gruul Aggro is probably the right deck to play. Or any deck that has a lot of, like, Disfigure, Myers, Grasp sort of effects in it. Boop. I moved his nose. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, and that's true, too. Like, we'll see what happens tomorrow. They're going to print 25, 27 cards into the format. That'll go live on the 21st, two days before the Hoaglandia Open online event series tournament thing. I I can't even spell hoots. 
Uh, so we'll see what the format looks like after tomorrow. We won't get to, like, play that format, not on Arena for a while, but... Yeah, humans... Humans already... Whoa! The arm on my chair just slid forward. The humans already has, like, a lot of good tools, so it'll be interesting if, if a good human slips through. No. <laughs> yes. Very much yes. <laughs> Even more so yes. Hactos mirror? Uh, that doesn't matter. Right? Right. Oh, it might be mutate. Good point. They get to gain a life here, but next turn we get to attack with three creatures with the Winota in play, so... No, two creatures. I'm dumb. They concede! Okay! Just gonna bring this in and see what happens. I guess we're on the draw, so Adanto Vanguard less good. Bring in removal. Cut this. Let's go. What? 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 Astro Smasher with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Is this a keep? I'm not looking. Uh, this is a keep. Yes. This is a keep. Turn two war boss into turn three quest beast. Let us go. Maybe. Info's out. They're Mardu. Look at that, Mardu. Never not Legion War Boss, I guess. Uh, he's dead, Jim. Dire Tactics. Okay. All right, well, we get to QB next turn, so got that going for us. Dire Tactics again? Maybe they're humans. I know Hushbringer is a fairy, but like maybe they're. Uh, why, why wouldn't they play Takatli in that case, huh? Hmm. Get wrecked, me. Settle the wreckage. Also a very good card against Winota. Yeah, I yeah, dire tactics without with specifically Hushbringer instead of um Scotley on our guard is interesting. All this removal and nothing to kill. Oh. Oh honey. Oh, honey. Let's draw Winota. Winota? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Hard cast and grass marauders with a bunch of zero power creatures in play. We can double zero. <laughs> oh, lava coil kills it now. Yes. Oh, I get it. I get it. We can't kill it. Oh, we can. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this Hushbringer. Yeah, that's very true. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. 
I just work here. There you go. There's your Takatle on a guard. Maybe they're playing both. What no ta? Uh, never lucky. Swing eight. Maybe they just hate. E well, they're they're trying to clack bridge troll. So I don't uh, I don't get the creatures from it. But like I have a ton of creatures anyway. Let's try a removal spell for this so we can win the game. We're through a lot of removal. But let's draw one more. Cliff Topper Cheat. Just what the doctor ordered. I wonder if they're playing Croxa. I have to tap one of them, otherwise I'm dead. As Hactos enters the battlefield, so this does not get blocked by Hushbringer. Nice. Do I offer this trade? Do I offer this trade? Like, I'd have to sacrifice it anyway, so yeah, I think you offer this. we offer this trade. They go to one. We block one of their clacky boys. So, let's see. If I sacrifice this, this taps this. Uh, decline. Yeah, but that's... Oh, this is exactly dead? So, I had to kill this. Oh, okay. I wasn't thinking about trample, right? So, 7, 15, 16, exactly. Yeah, I goofed. I goofed. I should have tapped one of the clack bridges... I forgot trample is a, a keyword that exists. Okay. All right. We know what they're doing now. Um, we're on the play. Sure. Disappointed. Okay. 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 We have stuff going on here. Baffling games. Okay. I we should have won game two. I goofed up. Telling that for sure. I kind of want to build their deck, but with with um, Kroxa instead of Blackbridge Troll. <laughs> Baffling end. Kill this nerd. Nah, we were in trouble in game two anyways. They could have left Hushbringer back to block Hactos. Oh, it was on two. You're right. I came because I was told there were cats that did not disappoint. Look, I do my best. See, this card, this card's value goes up when Hactos. The fact 
fact that this gained three life is really annoying. I think we're dead. I think we have died to the meme chat. Yeah, look at that riddle face in chat. They do have Proxa. Uh, which one is more uncastable? <laughs> We died to the meme. We fortued. I choked. We went 4 0 and then we died to a meme. I choked. Absolutely choked. <laughs> let's let's talk about this before we get into to potential of meme deck. So the issue with playing your deck when you're testing more or less in an event is you don't face the decks you you want to face you just face like random five or so decks um because like i really wanted to try out baffling end i guess we got to play it a little bit against gruel aggro and against the meme there at the end but this deck kind of relies on having the great curve. So when you play against a more controlling build that just like kills all these creatures, you're kind of sad. Um, options. And th this is kind of the choke point in terms of like fighting control. Uh, you can, this could be incubation. It could be lead the stampede. Look at the top five cards, put any number of creatures into your hand. Or it could be even um, Big Domri. I think... So, I considered trying Domri in this build, but the thing is, the builds that play Domri also play Paradise Druid. And I cut Paradise Druid. I, uh, it, I, I think it's more important to get to three to play one of these two creatures on turn two than it is to get to four. Three mana Vivian. Uh, look at the top three cards. Exile one face down. Yeah. Uh, it could also be someone was playing Domri three. Which is interesting. Because this like it doesn't find your creatures. So this isn't fixing uh, the problem necessarily. But it makes... It makes some of your creatures a little less embarrassing, like your uh, Legion War Boss tokens. It makes your spells uncounterable, so that's a little bit better against control. And then it's, it's also extra removal that you don't mind main decking. But I don't, I don't know. Like I just saw someone else playing this, and I was like, oh, that's neat. Uh, we don't have anything to kill big creatures. Is the issue like we have Lava Coil, Baffling End, that's it. Those are our removal spells. Aggro Grazers as well. Like, it gives your Grazer a little bit more beef. I'm currently running 25 lands and only one Grazer. Um, before, I was running three Incubation, two Grazer. Has 12 lands in play. Yeah, I mean, that'll happen. That's why I play Historic, where they can do the same same, same thing. They can do the same thing. <laughs> uh, but I can kill them on turn four, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't know. Were you my opponent? Oh, sorry. You're talking in chat. Sorry. My bad. Turn 420. What? Whoa. Sorry. All right. 